Hi friends, welcome back to Art Tutorials. This is Angular with Bootstrap full tu uh, tutorial series. And today we'll be learning to implement Bootstrap buttons and in our application. So, so we are still building on Arc Reminders application. If you have been following along, you will see the progress of the application. I'll share that in just a bit. But before we proceed, uh, I will request you two things. One, if you have not checked out the previous episodes, please do so. Uh, since we are building the application from scratch, there is a lot of information that you can that you can find it useful. Also, please do uh, encourage me and support me by subscribing and liking my videos. These tutorials are good for both beginners as well as experienced professionals. Finally, if you have any doubts, just ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. All right. So we all know buttons. Uh, those are the basic buttons that are available in HTML that we use input type equal to button. But in Bootstrap, uh, we use uh, the button classes which make them differentiate between various color contrast and functionalities. For example, if it's a primary color, we'll use BTN primary. If it's secondary, we'll write BTN secondary. If it's success message, it's success, danger, warning, info, etc. We can also make a button look like a link and by that we can use a btn hyphen link right so those are some of the things that we can provide uh, that bootstrap provides us we will use also this is first part is only the imp explanation in this now let's go ahead and see that and use that in our application so if you remember this is the application we are building arc reminders which is a reminder service we can add our to-do list reminders etc and we are still building on it. Uh, we added navbar, we added cards, we added list group. Now we are going to add button to this application. So to, in order to do so, let's go to content and we have used app list item, right? So I'm going to throw in a class row here and then I'm going to create a new, um, I'm just going to say, float left and then I'm going to have a float right and clear them. The reason I'm doing that is to have a button and title also in this section. So see now in the in the first uh, in this row I'm saying when you float it float this week and then I'm going to throw in a button here class equal to btn and I'm going to say button should be primary and I'm going to call this add new to do all right so we see it's here so let's just make this so so we'll do that with a clear fix or something but uh, first thing is let's get this to uh, or the other way of also saying it is you know we can just say call 8 this should be column 8 and this should just be column 4 we can do that as well and we can see that it would start floating it here but we don't want it exactly that way we can use like we can say button small that is btn small it would be a smaller size now we want it to be aligned towards the right. So we can just say that float right. Okay, so we got it. Now there is a button which is small. This text is on the left and now we have a new to-do list, right? So this is how we can uh, add a new one. Uh, but instead of this week, uh, maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in Mm, let's see what we can add here um, we can for now let's the idea was to show you how to use button but I'll rearrange this to top um, so that's how we can start adding and give a functionality to do it to open up a model window all right uh, I'm just going to call it add new and then in the model window we'll give an option to say whether it has to be um, so this says add new but I can make it little bigger. So I'll make it MD, that's button medium. So it's a little big. Uh, that's okay for now. 
uh, since we are learning to build it, we'll, we'll keep on it. All right, so that's how uh, we add buttons um, to the our application. That's how bootstrap buttons are used in Angular application. Uh, in the next episode, I will show you how to use button group as well. And then we'll start adding some functionality to uh, this application in the coming up days. All right, so let me know uh, if you have any issues or questions, doubts uh, that you have, um, how to call it or um, if you want to call a method or something, you can just attach an event and say click, say dot click, and I'm going to call um, print name. So this is a method which we can define it in our uh, component. So just throw in that method name. And I'm going to say hello from button. Right. So yeah, so that's that's the that's how you can attach the name. So if you go to the application, open the console. Right, you have the console. Now I'm going to hit on the button. And you can see that it says hello from button. So you can attach the event, basically event listener. We'll do that all that while building this application. For now. Uh, the idea is uh, we have created our page which will show the list we'll add some heading title and those things and we'll start building on it in the next episode more stay tuned i'll get you button group list tables and much much more uh, i hope you are enjoying this series uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode